Good morning, welcome to Johnson's Garden Time. Jeremy, it's mid-October, which means the weather's changing. Maybe some days we can't do a lot of gardening outside, but there's some things that uh, we have at our 13th Street store that uh, we're finding is very popular. Yeah, we're, we're in our uh, home home brewing and winemaking department here this morning, and uh, you know, I guess this is a I guess a, a, clo a close to my heart hobby that uh, kind of like gardening, but you know, brewing is a, a fun activity that you know I think I've told you before. If you can make Kool-Aid, you can probably make beer in your home. You know, I've told people we have this and you know, you really, there's a lot of people in the Wichita area that, that are involved in that and of course we've had seminars and we've had winemaking seminars and it is it is very, very easy. In fact, on, on home brewing we have uh, a two liter bottle which is pretty easy to make. That's the, the easiest way to do it. It's got a, a yeast capsule, drop that in, put the special lid on it and you're now a home brewer and so probably once you've done that you're you're going to want to get into to some some other different ways which you know from from there we've got you know many different kits in the stores for for different styles so you know depending on what style of beer you like we, we've probably got a kit that that you can either start with whether you're used to to an american style lager that you know you want something light or or if you like the, the heavier more full flavored beers but we've got those kits as well or the ingredients to 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 make one of them yourself you know i think that's probably i mean i guess the home brewers probably don't do it just to save money, but I think they really like that activity and see what they can develop. There's there's a lot of science to it. There's a lot of art to it. So you know, just just tweak, just kind of like gardening. You know, tweaking one or two things, we can get different results. And yes, you know, so we might look at you know the kind of the, the brewing process. What we're looking at, we've got grain. So we've got a couple different kinds of grain here. We've got hops, um, and then yeast and, and water. And that's that's basically all it all it takes to, to make beer. So we've got all the grains. We've got the hops. We've got the yeast. You you supply the water, a boil kettle, um, and that's you know pretty much where what we need. We've also got a, a great selection of, of different books you know the, the joy of home brewing is kind of the, the bible of, of home brewing um charlie papazian's the you know great writer on the, the subject very detailed book tells you what you need to do to get started and then we can go you know if you want to clone a, a commercial beer um We've got some extreme brewing, which uh, th this book's by um, Sam Calagione from, from Dogfish Head Brewery. So, you know, really a lot of things available to the, the home brewer or, you know, whether you're experienced or just getting started. Okay, we, we do have, have the kits. Right. Then we have grain also, which a lot of people will, will use. Yep, um, either the, the whole grain or we've got the, the spray malt, we've got the, the malt extract, the, the liquids. We've also got a, a wide variety of, of the most popular dry yeast as well as the, 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 the popular and less common liquid yeast is available. All right, so uh, come by our store at 2707 West 13th and we'll get uh, you involved in home brewing and winemaking. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.